Hey, what's up? I'm Izio Cole, and welcome back to another Watchdog story concept. Now, if you don't know, these videos are basically where I create a story concept for a hypothetical Watch Dogs 4, and you all let me know what you think about it. I did one a few months ago called Autumn Falls, and I'll put the links up if you wanna go check that out. But today we're gonna be talking about a story concept that I created called Black Forest. Now this one would be a complete reboot of the Watch Dogs series, but it still takes place in a similar universe to the first and the second one. Legion is completely out of the question, we're just gonna treat that one as a spinoff, and it's not canon to this universe. And when I say this universe, it's in a slightly different universe, but most of the same story beats from Watch Dogs 1 with Aiden and Watch Dogs 2 with Marcus are the same. So the theme will be kind of similar to the first game, but a lot darker, kind of like the new Batman movie that just came out. The game takes place a few months after the second game in Toronto and San Francisco, so it's kind of a, a dual story thing. The game starts off in San Francisco, and basically, in this game, your main character is a villain instead of a vigilante. So our main character doesn't have any personal vendetta, but is really, really upset with how Deadset conducts their operations, how sloppy they are, how many people they've accidentally killed or injured, and he's decided that he's had enough. He's a black hat hacker that used to rob people, but is now kind of a evil vigilante Thanos type person. So like. His reasoning's good, but his methods are the evil part. So you can think of it kind of like Captain America Civil War, where the whole issue of the game is like, do the ends justify the means? Our main character is against killing civilians, but has no problem killing DeadSec operatives. The first mission in the game is to infiltrate DeadSec HQ and plant a backdoor in DeadSec San Francisco, because in this universe, DeadSec San Francisco and DeadSec Toronto have a very strong link with each other. So it's actually easier to go in through San Francisco because they have weaker security than to go straight to Toronto, because in this universe, Toronto is like the biggest branch of DeadSec and they have like crazy security. And also in this universe, the DeadSec San Francisco HQ is a lot bigger, so that makes for a, a much better stealth mission as for planting a back door. So in the game, as far as progression goes, uh, it's gonna be a complete overall of the hacking system. So the current hacking system that has been in all three games, all three Watch Dogs games, where you have to redirect the flows of, I don't know, electricity, data, whatever, that's completely gone and it's replaced with a more realistic system probably something a little more similar to what you see in hacknet but you still want to have interesting gameplay so some stuff that you can execute on your phone some stuff that you do remotely and really it's just going to be a lot more realistic but still a very engaging system i haven't really thought that far into it but as far as progression goes you start off one step up from an amateur hacker and you gradually learn and become more powerful and become a more experienced hacker throughout the game you work your way up with more powerful hacks getting information on different deadsec members either taking them out or basically destroying their lives. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was combat. So weaponry will be mostly non-lethal for pedestrians that get in his way, but also some lethal for DedSec members that want to put up a fight. So I think it'd be really, really interesting to see something like this. Let me know what you all think about this concept. I purposely kind of left it open for interpretation. I didn't have as much information, as much detail as I did for Autumn Falls, because I kind of want to see what you all would think about this. How do you think it should end? Is there anything else you should add? What is your idea for the perfect Watch Dogs 4? Let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.